God morgon allihopa, I'm Alexandra, welcome to my channel and to this video. Do I look a little wrecked? <laughs> I fell asleep without taking my makeup off yesterday. Uh, the one day, first day in a long time, that I actually wore some uh, eyeliner. And this morning when I woke up and looked in the mirror, I was like, whoa, that is scary. <laughs> but I'm gonna take my makeup off. I actually am up at a pretty good time today. Instead of having to rush all morning, hopefully we'll be able to just do things at a good, calm pace. So I do have time to take my makeup off. Um, Theo is getting dressed right here, so that's why I'm sitting here in Tyrion's bed, because Theo asked me to, to sit next to him while he's getting dressed. And uh, Miranda, and Tyr Miranda and Tyrion are already downstairs. <laughs> Ginny is right here. She needs to be more in here and just kind of play and I don't know be in here because I feel like every time she comes in here she sees this rug and thinks that it's a place to pee oh ska jag hjälpa dig? I need to help with some socks okay okay you've got your socks on you've got your socks on you've got your arm Kyle socks on. Can anyone name where that song's from? That is a very obscure reference, I think, for most people. There we go. Good job. Oh, the focus, the focus. Focus on me. Actually, I looked better when it was blurry. Anyway, let's go on with our day. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, I had a really bad evening and just was in a bad mood. I was sad, I didn't really know why. And I had hoped that it would go away, com whoa, go away completely. Whoa, that's dark. Um, overnight, but it's kind of lingering. So I'm just gonna try and make this day better than, or make it as, as good as I can, you know. At least I don't have any plans. The only thing on the calendar today is my deadline for an assignment that I need to hand in tonight. So that's what I'm gonna be working on all day. There are no doctor's appointments, no lectures or nothing, and that feels good. I can just focus on what I need to focus on. Yeah. Huh? better like magic <laughs> okay now I don't look like a witch maybe I do still but whatever and it's just so annoying when you are in a bad mood but you don't quite know why I feel like it, there's nothing really I can do about it, but I'm hoping that like working on my assignment and finishing my assignment will get me in a better mood just because, you know, finishing school work, doing what you are supposed to do, what you should do, is kind of satisfactory, gives me some satisfaction. Okay. Mm. Okay. Stay to me to room also. I will have one there. I think I'm gonna take my makeup downstairs and put my makeup on while we are having breakfast, so that we can can get going. So then we so that we don't get to the point where we have to stress. Miranda, and Ginny, and I are back home after leaving the boys at school and preschool, and this morning was. Um, not hectic, because like I said, we didn't have like the time uh, rush that we usually do, but it was rambunctious. I don't know, I think probably the mood that I'm in is affecting the kids, so they were just very confrontative, is that even a word? 
they were very like on each other the boy specifically and it was not fun um, and yeah I'm I'm not in the best mood <laughs> As you know already, I'm going to stop saying this. Instead, I'm actually going to give a little update on this little one. <laughs> um, mostly for my own sake, because I have a tendency to not really see progress very well. I am always in the mindset of what can be done better and what can be improved or um, what the next step is. And I kind of forget to see what has actually already happened, what is getting better and stuff. And with a puppy, there's a lot you have to work on, you know. It's not that she's a problem puppy at all. It's just that there's a lot of things that I want to teach her. There's a lot of things that she needs to know, you know, because she lives with us and in society and all that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to kind of talk a bit about her state of things with her right now and hopefully a few weeks or months from now, I'm going to be able to look back on this and be like, oh wow, we've made so much progress. Uh, because it has been kind of a struggle for me with her these first couple of weeks. It's, yeah, it's exactly two weeks since we got her from the breeder. And um, I have always had puppies who were kind of happy-go-lucky and not so worried about things or scared, you know. And sometimes they were even too tough and you had to pull them back. But Anna. Um, but this one not so much she is more of the um, careful kind and definitely is very cautious of most things and I'm just not used to that I mean I'm a I'm a what's it called not trained I'm a certified dog trainer so it's not that this is new to me like theory wise I just haven't really had a lot of it in my own dogs and so I'm having to kind of shift my mindset of how I train my puppy and how I interact with my puppy to build her up that's probably what I'm gonna keep saying over and over again anytime I talk about her training oh gosh oh gosh oh gosh good job good job so she really wants to hang out with me but there's something that just keeps her away. Ginny, please, you're gonna get a claw in your eye. Okay, that's enough. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna have to build her up, build her self-esteem and build her trust in herself and in me and all that stuff so that she doesn't get so scared. Um, she is very much, like I get the feeling that she feels very safe in our house now and in our backyard and everything. She acts herself, I think. Um, but she is very nervous outside. She constantly tries to climb under the stroller, like the little where you can put stuff under the stroller. She wants to climb into there all the time. And, uh, what? <laughs> and whenever she realizes that we are on our way home, she pulls the leash like crazy and I know this is pretty common for a lot of dogs to start pulling when they're on their way home it's just one of my major pet peeves is dogs who pull the leash so I've already started training uh, with her which is very simple I just stop whenever the leash is pulled like taut you know and then the second it becomes more slack when she realizes that she has to back out like back up <laughs> um, I keep walking and I think she's starting to kind of get it but when she's in that mindset she also kind of shuts off I feel like because she doesn't take treats and she doesn't want to play most of the time when, when we're not close to our house or in our house and that's also that also makes it kind of difficult to um, train because you can't really reward her and I don't want to reward her with lots of like um, carrying her and stuff like that because I, I feel like that could also be detrimental to the whole like getting used to things anyway I'm I'm kind of rambling now I feel like I'm gonna understand this later on hopefully and for anyone who's not interested in this probably I should have said this before you can just skip ahead um, yeah um, and also a heads up I'm probably gonna be talking a lot about Ginny and her training in the vlogs um, 
in the future because it's just one of the things other than like school that keeps my mind occupied a lot and it's something that I do and think about a lot so I'm gonna want to um, share that or at least like just word vomit it out so that I can look back on it later and see if there's been any progress made and also I know that she's made a lot of progress since she got here it's only been two weeks I'm trying to pace myself and not expect too much too fast but at the same time that's kind of my mo so yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now and uh, make sure that these pets don't kill each other and that Miranda has something to do so that I can work on my zen a Sam exam assignment on my assignment. <laughs> I think there's a hopeless little baby here. You are hopeless. Yeah, now that I'm here, you can close it. But when I was calling from the living room, you were just playing and messing around. I could hear it. I could hear the glasses clinking. <laughs> what do you want to do? She just woke up um, from her nap. I actually just finished my assignment, which is awesome. Um, but I feel like I have a fever, which I'm probably just imagining, but I, either way, I don't feel good physically now. So maybe that's why I was so down yesterday and today. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, I'm going to eat one of these because I feel like it. And that's what intuitive eating is all about. And maybe my puppy needs to pee actually. So let's go let her out in the backyard. Ginny. And yes, I know that I should be taking her for walks to kind of um, work on this whole thing of just peeing around the house. Did I say that? Did I say that part of her being so cautious and nervous is that she only pees close to the house? I don't remember, but that's a thing. That's a thing. Maybe three or four times she's peed in other places. But yeah, I should be taking her for walks and trying to get her to pee in other places. But right now, I, yeah, I just don't feel up for it so go be the kitchen has been secured roam free Genie! you are not allowed to roam free because you keep stealing the kids food You're such a puppy I've been lazy and just kind of relaxing on the couch for the evening. Michael even made dinner, which isn't very common for us. Um, and now it's time to put Miranda to bed. I'm going to do that at least. And the boys are doing some drawing. Is it fun? Good. <laughs> you guys are cute. Woo! <laughs> Let's go upstairs and put the baby to bed. And then I'm going to keep studying. dinner and a show <laughs> this is definitely one of the best sights and one of the coziest times of the day for me it's not often that I let Michael do this because <laughs> I just think it's so nice I've just handed in my exam and now I'm just having some cozy time with my little puppy and it's time to edit the video so please like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of our family videos and we will see you when we see you and thank you for watching today. Hey -do!